say no to lemons? Because uh, lemons just aren't for everyone. When we hear the phrase, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade, we're being encouraged to adopt a positive mindset in the face of adversity. But positivity alone doesn't always lead to solutions. You can make as much lemonade as you want. You can even open a lemonade stand, but the lemons remain, albeit in a different form. Imagine that the challenge is a wall. Perhaps if you're positive, you face away from the wall and you look at whatever's there. But the wall is still behind you and it will be there when you turn around. This is not a solution. Perhaps instead you walk along next to the wall, waiting for an eventual opportunity to go around it. But the wall remains looming and unaddressed. This is not a solution. A sol perhaps instead, a solution comes in the form of the determination to confront the wall, to face it head on. Maybe it's about recognizing that the negative aspects of a situation don't simply disappear when we put a positive spin on them. It's about saying no to sugarcoating and saying yes to challenging your own challenge. So how do we do this? Well, we stand tall and we declare, I will not simply accept this situation. I will work through it and I will overcome it. We don't merely stumble across a way around the wall. We put in the conscious effort to find a way. If we spend our time waiting for people to come and find us and get us out of our situations, or waiting for the universe to answer our prayers, then we're wasting it. Because the whole time we could be building ladders or digging tunnels and finding our own way over the wall. Think about the people who've inspired all of us throughout history. They didn't merely accept the lemons life handed them. They transformed them into catalysts for change. They refused to be passive recipients of lemons and instead built their own paths forward to success. They understood that the key to overcoming obstacles is not about finding a way around them, but rather finding a way through. In my own experience, I have received lemons and unfortunately, I made lemonade. I was 12 years old and I moved countries. I went from a place I had known my whole life to a new place with new people and a new culture. And suffice to say, it was a tricky time. When I first moved, there was a moment of realization when I realized just how much was changing around me. And that was pretty scary, but just to add on to that, I was isolated. The whole world was in lockdown. So as my whole life shifted and changed around me, it was very difficult to begin building a new one. So what did I do? Nothing. I did nothing. I waited. I waited for the things to start working around me, for people to come up to me. I waited for the opportunities to grow and to build myself back up again to come to me. I waited for the solutions to appear when the whole time I could have been going out and finding them myself. Nothing was really stopping me, but I ran into a wall and I gave up. See, if I had just known, if I could have just known that these demolitions, these powerful wrecking balls that were challenges, were actually just knocking out old foundations to make way for new, stronger foundations, then maybe it all would have been just a bit easier. But I didn't. And so as I thought the world was crumbling around me, I refused to accept that this could possibly be a good thing. I didn't realize that these demolitions was like a house being demolished. However, this demolition was making way for new foundations, stronger foundations upon which I could build myself. In those early days of, of adapting to a new culture, I grappled with the disarray of change. I I struggled against it. I refused to accept that maybe this was for the better. And as I grappled with that change, I think I finally realized that true growth comes from rebuilding, from building new structures, new foundations upon the groundwork of our previous selves. When we are knocked down, these wrecking balls, they can feel world-ending, but they're not. 
They are simply making way for new foundations, as I have said. Um, when they knock us down, when all of that happens, it's, it's scary. And it's not an enjoyable experience, but in the end, it's for the better. As you are knocked down, as you feel that, you need to understand that this is an opportunity to rebuild yourself. Although renovations require time, effort, and dedication. Just as rebuilding a house requires patience, rebuilding ourselves after challenges requires a commitment to our personal development. We cannot simply let this all happen to us and fold away. We need to commit ourselves to building ourselves back up bigger and better. We need to remember that although challenges can feel terrifying, they are really just opening up new paths for us. Challenges are the chisels that sculpt our character. They are the um, forges that temper our resilience. And they are the canvases upon which we paint our evolution. Every hurdle that we face serves as a catalyst for change and an opportunity for growth. But if we choose to ignore these challenges, if we choose to suppress these struggles and push them down, then we stifle our own opportunity for growth. It's time to recognize that not every challenge is the end. It's time to recognize that resilience is what we need to continue getting through. When we are resilient, we allow ourselves to get back up and keep on going, to rebuild on top of the groundwork of our previous selves. It's time to recognize that resilience is not measured by our ability to, to turn negatives into positives. It is not measured by our ability to ignore the challenges and keep on going in spite of them. It is measured by our capacity to face these challenges head on and recognize that if we can change them and if we can build from them, then that is true growth. Growth comes from rebuilding. Growth comes from growing. <laughs> it's, it's time to just, just take a step back and look at everything that has happened to us. It's time to recognize that in the end, everything is for the better. It's time to put down the jug of lemonade. It's time to pick up the hammers and nails and shovels. And it is time to build the ladders and dig the tunnels that lead us towards a future of our own making. Because we can get there and we will get there. We just need to believe. Thank you. Thank you.